Anderson takes it away from him, chips it past Ruda. He's got Caulfield in front. And the center play, Caulfield. Anderson scores! Josh Anderson extends the series. So you're telling me there's a chance. What's going on, guys? Rob Pizzo back with another breakdown. And the Tampa Bay Lightning had the brooms out. They had their champagne waiting on ice. But Josh Anderson and the Habs, well, they put a hold on that parade, and they did it in pretty dramatic fashion. They killed off a double minor at the end of regulation that stretched into overtime before winning it in OT. And oh yeah, we can't forget, Carey Price was back to being his awesome self. And I guess the only Lightning fan that was happy about this loss was Tampa's mayor, who said this the day before him four. What we would like is for the Lightning to take it a little bit easy, to give the Canadians just the smallest break, allow them to win one at home, and then bring it back to the Amelie Arena for the final and the winning of the Stanley Cup. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. You're playing with fire. Anyways, let's break this thing down before we start looking ahead to tonight's Game 5. First off, I want to talk about overtime. The Habs are now 6-1 in these playoffs, while the defending champion Lightning fall to 0-4. Also, that was the 27th OT in these playoffs so far, which is one off the record that has been done twice. First, in 1993 when the Habs won the Cup, then in 2020 when the Lightning won the Cup. And finally, I know we've talked a lot about Cole Caulfield, but I want to keep doing it because he picked up a helper on the winner. That's his third overtime point in these playoffs. He now has 12 points in total, and only Claude Lemieux, and Jacques Lemaire have scored more points as a Habs rookie in the playoffs. Now, all of that being said, one of the stars of Game 4, in my opinion, was the goalpost. Back to Hedman, who scored on the power play in the last game. Point off the post! Looking back for Hedman off the goalpost. Two posts for the Lightning so far. Braden points on it. McDonough to the net, and that hit the post. Third post of the night for the Lightning. By the way, that last post by Nikita Kucherov came when the game was tied with two and a half minutes left. But it's the playoffs. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. But let's get back to Lloyd Christmas. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> yes, there is. Rallying from a 3 0 deficit in a series is the ultimate comeback. And it is difficult, but not impossible. It has been done just four times in history. And the last time it was done was back in 2014 when the Kings came back against the Sharks. And Habs fans may recognize the player who scored the winners in games four and five in that series. Tyler Toffoli with his second goal in as many games. Now the three nothing rally has only been done once in the Stanley Cup final. And for that, you need to go all the way back to 1942. The Leafs lost their first three games to the Red Wings. Four games later, they were the Stanley Cup champions. So do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. This Lightning team hasn't lost consecutive playoff games since 2019. And the team just doesn't get rattled. They missed a chance to win the Cup in Game 5 against Dallas last season, and the next game finished them off. But until Gary Bett comes out to a chorus of boos and calls up Steven Stamkos to accept the Stanley Cup, the possibility, even if it is a huge long shot, remains alive. What was all that one in a million talk? 